One thing I forgot to mention earlier is that um, on your assignment sheet, you are supposed to be recording your glazes. So what I would have written down on my assignment sheet is that the hard slab, which is what this project is, has a sewer down first, and then I'm going to choose a glaze um, and put that down second on top. Um, so uh, I don't know what's convenient over there, but let's just say it's uh, terrazzo. Um, so I would do on my assignment sheet, right, hard slab equals sewer first, terrazzo second. And I would like you to choose uh, eight different glazes um, for your pieces. You have four pieces, so two different glazes for each piece. That'll give you a good example of um, what the different glazes do. All right, so um, there doesn't seem to be much room for creative expression in this assignment. I'm just essentially giving you some uh, general building blocks, um, and then on future assignments we'll um, go from there, and uh, that's where you can get um, some creativity in. But I do want to say that um, with the wax resist, you can be a little bit creative. So um, not just for keeping it off the bottom, but in resisting areas of the second dip. So what's going to happen is, if I paint this wax resist on in a pattern, and then dip it in the second glaze, the terrazzo, um, what that's going to do is resist the terrazzo, uh, but the first glaze, the sewer, will show through. And everywhere else, there will be a combination of sewer and terrazzo. Um, and it's unclear what that combination could look like because it depends on a lot of factors. How thick terrazzo is, um, how thick sewer is, uh, even what goes on first or second. So that's why it's very important to keep these records in your uh, folder on your assignment sheet because if you do like the combination of sewer and terrazzo, sewer first, terrazzo second, um, you can recreate that. Whereas if you're not taking notes, um, a lot of them you'll, you won't remember because it takes so long um, for, you know, to fill a kiln and wait and fire and come back. And by the time that happens, you have no idea what glazes you've used. All right, so um, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, paint my design on here. And so um, you can be creative if you want. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and, and paint like little circles or bubbles and you'll see what happens um, when I go ahead and dip this in the second glaze. Um, stripes, stars, uh, you know, shapes, you can um, get pretty detailed with this. Um, I'm going to leave it up to you however you want. Now, I am going to say though that when you dip it in your second glaze that you leave um, more than a quarter inch up from the bottom like you did with the wax uh, because double dipping the glazes is, um, is fine but if you don't do it correctly it has more of a chance to run off the pot and so if you double dip directly down to your wax line um, there's a very good chance that that buffer is not going to be enough and that your glazes could potentially run off of the pot and, and onto the kiln shelf. So I'm going to say um, when you do your double dip, uh, don't go below half of your pot. All right, so um, I mean, I'm just going to leave it at, at this. And, and you don't have to do this uh, decoration all, the same decoration all the way around. You do have to do the wax. Um, on all four sides. You can do different designs to see how um, they look differently after they're fired. 
Now, I, I do want to stress that um, the, this first assignment is really just practicing technique for uh, the rest of the semester. So, you know, don't be afraid to go ahead and, and take some chances and, uh, you know, worry about potentially, you know, ruining your assignment. I mean, I, I'm grading on um, technique here, um, you know, to make sure that you've, you've constructed it correctly, you've dipped the glaze correctly, you've used the wax resist correctly. Um, but, you know, I'm not necessarily grading here so much on how creative um, you are. Uh, that will come in, in later, later assignments. All right, so I've got all four sides done. Uh, I'm not going below half the pot because I'm only going to dip the top half and I'm going to wait for it to dry and then uh, I'll show you the next step. Please don't forget when you are done, the lid goes back on and you wash your brush with soap and water.